Good afternoon and welcome. Well, maybe I'll back up a little bit. It's, uh, it's nice to have you all here today at the presentation of the Robert A. and Virginia Heinlein Prize Trust Award to Elon Musk. I was a reader of uh, Robert Heinlein's juvenile books uh, as a child and was inspired by them as were many others who went on to become astronauts and yes cosmonauts. His books are translated into many languages. I've uh, in my travels in Russia and my business there run across any number of cosmonauts who were Robert Heinlein readers to my initial surprise. It no longer surprises me. Heinlein books are translated into 32 languages. So it was not just people who went on to become astronauts and engineers, uh, astrophysicists and other workers in uh, aerospace, but other people were inspired by Robert Heinlein who went on to have uh, uh, everyday jobs that are more common, uh, professionals and engineers in other areas and simply aficionados. And these people in Robert Heinlein's later career came to be known as Heinlein's children. And there are many of those here today. I was particularly pleased to learn after Elon Musk had already been declared the winner of the Heinlein Award that he too was one of Heinlein's children and he'll probably have something to say about that himself but I know that the room is full of them today and so I would like to propose first a toast to Heinlein's children who are carrying on the work now and to whom the burden falls. My goodness, thank you all for coming here today. And uh, this is the second award of the Heinlein Prize. And so I'm going to mention a few things about the Heinlein Trust to tell you what it is. I'm Mr. Heinlein's literary executor, as well as being a trustee. And um, the trust was started in 1991, but it didn't become active until 2003 when it was funded by the estate of Virginia Heinlein. It is the Robert A. and Virginia Heinlein Trust for Accomplishments in Commercial Aerospace Activities. Not for plans, not for books. We have Heinlein prizes for plans and for books, but the big prize is for accomplishments. The Falcon 1 had flown and that was it, wouldn't have won the prize. But instead, a business has been built here that employs over a thousand people in good jobs in America, beats the Chinese price for rockets, and that's amazing. And now has $3 billion or more book of business on commercial contracts at pretty much fixed prices. And also, this company posts its prices on the internet, just like any other commercial company. You don't have to guess, you don't have to argue with them about the price. So for those reasons, and in hopes that you will inspire others to do the same, we're giving you a diploma, a sword, and a cash prize. Would the sword bearer come up, please? Please stand up. Don't worry, I'm not going to make Here you go. Uh, thank you. And I think you can tell from the weight of this sword that it's serious. Wow. It's a real sword, and it's sharp, so be careful with it. <laughs> now, in this city, I've got to tell you that the main use for this sword may be cutting red tape, which is something that Elon's also pretty good at. Cool sword. Well, <laughs> yes, and, and no sword fights with Peter Diamandis. <laughs> okay. Now, the second part of the award is a diploma. And could I get this up on the screen now? But this is the Heinlein Prize. <laughs> For those of you who have seen a Nobel Prize, it is similar to a Nobel Prize in its appearance. And I will read it to you. The Robert A. and Virginia Heinlein Prize for Accomplishments in Commercial Space Activities is awarded on this day, the 29th of June, 2011, in Washington, D.C., United States of America, Earth, because someday these prizes will be given off of Earth to Elon Musk for his insight, innovation, and leadership. It's signed by us 
And it has a graphic. All Nobel Prizes, by the way, have graphics on them, and so do we. This graphic shows the Earth, the Moon, and Mars, and a star, and the symbols for the Earth, Moon, Mars, and a star. So Elon, here, if you'd hold this, and we'll get a picture afterwards. Okay. This is given with great affection and hope for the future for all of your endeavors. Thank you. Okay. okay. Now, since we know that Elon's birthday was yesterday, people usually do fun things right after their birthday. I believe that you're flying tonight to Europe. Yes. And we have a little something for you to take with you. We didn't just make your check. <laughs> we made your cashier's check oh, so wow. that you could take it down to the bank here and cash it if you wanted to. <laughs> so here is the Highline Prize wow. Monetary Award. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. I would like to put you with you. Okay. Now having said all of that, I'm now going to turn this meeting over to Elon and let him tell you about his intentions. Um, so let's see, so I think maybe uh, I'd explain a bit about uh, my motivations for space uh, and, and starting SpaceX. Um, it was uh, certainly not from the standpoint of uh, what I thought would uh, be the easiest way to make money. Um, uh, space is particularly difficult. Um, but. Uh, I, I do think that one of the most important things that humanity can do uh, is to become multiplanetary and expand beyond Earth um, and, and of course bring the rest of life as we know it along with us. Um, for, for, for the past four billion years, uh, life has been confined to Earth and this is the first time in, in four billion years that it is possible for life to um, become multiplanetary. And, um, uh, that, that window may be open for a, a long time, and I'm you know, reasonably optimistic uh, about life on Earth, um, but it may be open for a short time. And, um, and if it is only open for a short time, we, we must take advantage of it and, and take action now uh, to make life multiplanetary. Mistress is one of my, my favorite books. Um, I really, really love that. Um, and uh, uh, you know, I, this is. This is uh, one of the best awards I've ever received. Actually, probably the best award, actually. 